We're here in China for round 2 of season 4 for the F122 driver career mode. It held race 1000 back in 2019 and we are back in 2024 where it will host race 1089. But for the first time here in China for us, we had a wet qualifying. As you can see as I'm into now and we're hoping for a good result we had. A decent weekend for our first time out in the McLaren back in Bahrain and we're looking to continue the form of our new team coming into this weekend. So as we go into the final corner now and we round the final corner and up to the line our very first lap puts us into P5. But the rain's due to stay as we nearly hit the Alpine of Fernando Alonso and we carried on on this lap and we did manage to find a bit more time we always sort of struggled a bit through the first snake of the first couple of corners but we found nearly a second seven and a half tenths as we go wide coming out of the final corner and across the line and it puts us into P3 just behind the Ferraris who are looking very very quick this season we skip on to the end of qualifying, fresh enters on the car and we found even more time. We found another two temps and we've gained a little bit now as well coming out of the hairpin. Now into the final corner and up to the line and we will start the race P7. Here is Before we begin, the let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Russell, Fernando Alonso, Lando Norris, and Verstappen, Brown, Hamilton, Perez, and Yuki Tsunoda, Albon, Stroll, Mick Schumacher, and Oscar Piastri, Joe, Gasly, Kevin Magnussen, and Esteban Ocon, Latifi, and Robert Schwartzman. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So, it's dry for the race and we are doing a boring one stop off mediums onto the hard tyres. The sun's come out as well for today's race. The rain has disappeared and we can go racing for the first time in five years in China. And the lights are out and we have got another shocker of the start, our customary bad start we've lost a couple of places but we are gonna go the long way round turn one we've gained one of those two positions back and now into turn two we gain the other one back on Lewis Hamilton and we're back up to where we started the two Ferraris lead from now being there of Alonso and now coming into the next hairpin and we are gonna send it late to the inside of Max Verstappen overtake the Dutchman and in doing so we've allowed Sonoda to sneak through as well in his Alpine. Not good for Max but we've gained one position at the start. Now can we go up after those ahead which is our teammate again just like Bahrain. But Sonoda's on the back of us we go a little bit deep. Going into the hairpin Sonoda had a little sniff but couldn't get enough of his car alongside, we beat him on the exit but onto lap 4, this time he's got us, we're checking the mirror, checking for Max what's happened, but down the inside, another dive bomb, he retakes that position, and Max has re-overtaken Sonoda now as well, there's a nice little pack behind us as we, we struggle to keep up with those behind Hamilton now, He's now going wheel to wheel with Sonoda. He's going to try and go the long way around turn one. As we go a bit wider, Max Verstappen's at the inside of us. And we keep the position just, but Lewis Hamilton is still fighting with Yuki Sonoda. He's still there, but he couldn't get the launch off of turn two. And has to sit behind the Alpine for a bit longer. Now, though. Can we get away? And the answer is no. Because this is Max Verstappen flick of the steering wheel and his pass is like an absolute bullet. 
but we're gonna go the dive bomb back down the inside pretty late and we rarely take the position we are fighting for our lives here to keep this P P6 we haven't got the pace for to keep up with Lando unlike we did in Bahrain and here comes St Maximus on the back of us again now and he flicks it to the outside now and we're gonna cut back in his slipstream and you know what's about to happen back down the inside we go it's a big lock up though from Max but this time he doesn't lose out to Sonoda we, <laughs> we're getting the elbows out here in China it's definitely a dramatic route three for us you can just about see Lando just up the road as into town one we go now and Max we go wide again and Max is just going to breeze up the inside of us there's a bit of argy bargy there but we keep the position he is all over us like an absolute rash at the minute is he going to have a look to the inside no he's not but he's had a massive lock up there and through goes to Noda, they're side by side can Max hold on? yes he can, he's got away with him there that was a huge lock up just like he did at the hairpin a couple of laps ago here he comes again he's now on the outside of us, he's got us a bit further up the straight but here we go again, back down the inside copy and paste of lap after lap so far and now this time Sonoda's quite a fair way closer to Max Verstappen as we go across this dark finish line and here is Max Verstappen he's going for a launch late and he's nearly wiped out the back of my McLaren there and Sonoda's down the inside of him now and now around the outside Sonoda tries to go that could have been an airplane crash that one but he nearly goes very late, loses out to Sonoda. He goes very late to the inside as we're coming across. Yes. Nearly slices the back of our car off. In the process. And that's allowed us to build a little gap. But Sonoda hasn't got the straight line speed as he goes defensive to the inside. Max now going to try around the outside, it looked like he was thinking about the, the cutback but he decided to stick to the outside and his job done, he retakes that P7 now as we go through the S section and he's nearly dropped it there Max as he tries to go around our outside there, that's not happening and he has to stay behind us for now we're really struggling on these medium tyres but here he comes again over around the lap and we could just use the same bit of footage here it is different laps there's around the outside he goes to the outside we force him the long way around and maybe a bit aggressive there and now it's an odor maybe iron up max again here we go into town towards town one but Max again a little bit of a gap as we go into turn one again we've run a little bit wide again and Max is snuck back up the inside Maybe contact again this time he's trying to keep on the outside but he can't so through the S sections we come now we've gone offline a little bit and now Max has got a great launch to go up our inside bit of argy bargy and we've locked wheels we've locked wheels and Max has gone off the track and Sonoda's nearly dropped it and in his efforts to get past Max what's happened that could have got very messy there for Yuki Sonoda there's definitely some brown stuff in his underpants after that one and now here does come Sonoda he's on the back of us to the inside he goes and this is only lap 10 he gets the job done we go back to the inside Max was weaving all about we force it to know the wide and Max goes thank you very much and back up the inside and now through that awkward double left hander and now here's Max going into the tight chicane down our inside he's caught me napping and that might be the final nail in the coffin 
We've been struggling off of this down the straight. Have we though? We haven't really got the straight line speed to keep up with them. We will have the DRS though. We are getting closer. We are getting closer. Even I can't dive bomb that as down the inside goes. Sonoda, we do the cutback though. At least attempt to. But Sonoda's got the job done. But we are going to swap in the dummy. Go down the inside of the final corner. But Max is gone now, you can see from the gap, Max is gone. Sonoda, we swap Sonoda the dummy. Now he's deciding to swap us the dummy. And we are going to do the cutback. And Lewis Hamilton now goes up our inside. As we tried the cutback. And now we've lost up to Sonoda. Up the inside. We defend Lewis Hamilton. Now on to lap 13. We can have a breather. As it's time for the stops. But on Sonoda, we tried to do the cutback, kind of like Lewis Hamilton used to do back in the day for McLaren, let the hairpin constantly do the cutback. But we will be going to the hard tyres, nothing new strategy, a good two and a half second stop. We beat out Lewis Hamilton, but Sonoda, as you can see, that has stayed out, so now it's a battle to stay ahead of him. As we have lost out to it, of course. So can we retake that position during the pit stops? Try and get the undercut sorted. But we'll have to wait and see. This is Sonoda now into the pits. <sighs> Onto his hard tyres. He's beat out the Red Bull of Sergio Perez. But now, where is he relative to us? They come out of the pits, and there we are in the background. We've come out just behind. We've been beaten out by Perez. Perez was, wasn't even in the battle. But now these have cold, cold tyres. We've got our, our tyres up to temperature, and we are going to sail all the way round. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no. Sergio Perez trying to do the cutback. We do it again, down the inside, like we did to his teammate on lap one. And now they're really struggling on those cold hards. We were on the opening lap on those cold, old, cold hard tyres. And now Sonoda will roll over the back of him. We are getting closer. The game wants to give us an awful camera angle. As we can't, we're struggling to get closer. We did gain a little bit. As we tried, we nearly hit the back of Sonoda. We were a little bit too far back to go for the dive bomb for once. Through the final corner we go now, we've got a good launch, we may have cut the corner just a little bit there, we don't need to talk about that. But we're on the back of Sonoda now, and can we do anything going through the first corner? And that's exactly what we're going to try and do, Sonoda's left the gap, down the inside we go, Suzuki Sonoda return one. He left the gap, I'm filling it, but at the front though, the two Ferraris have basically boss this race and with Alonso third nothing's really happening at the front apart from Sainz dominating the race and Leclerc can't really overtake him but this is Fernando Alonso who has been on the podium places all race long but yet again the LP's reliability has let him down as he's crawling to a halt they thought they'd sorted out their bad reliability, but they quite clearly haven't. And now it's just gone 15 very valuable points. Gone. From Alpine, and that's gifted a podium to George Russell. As now through the final corner, it's going to be Ferrari 1-2, headed by Carlos Sainz, just back-to-back -back wins for him. And George Russell's going to get a very, very lucky third place and we are going to round the final corner we managed to pull away from Sonoda and finish P6 
become our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. So it's another win from Carlos Sainz then, good race for him, back to back, and a 1-2 for Ferrari, can't go much better for him there, but a poor race on my side with P6, we didn't have the pace at all on the mediums earlier on in the Grand Prix, but we had some great pace on the hard tyres but we are actually ahead of Lando by 6 points in the driver's standings 17 points a gap at the top between the two Ferrari drivers Max Verstappen is third in the world championship standings and in terms of the constructors then we are sitting third with that 1-2 for Ferrari giving them a 48 point lead and we are actually level on points with Red Bull after two races then so it was a very interesting race here back in China very different to what I was expecting we didn't really have pace early on but it came to us in the end but then it was too late so we head to Miami next that's the first time that's been back on the calendars it's the very first season when we were racing with Alpine of course we did a two year we're doing a two year cycle with Kota for the American races but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in Miami